you know, I like the fact that for the past few days, every time we come in to start, the very first thing I see is uh, Topeka in a bikini. You don't know what that means, but it's true. It's true. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid rex. It's a Corbin. I'm Topeka Patagon. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Yeah! Thanks on Patreon. Follow us for sure Twitter account. Subscribe if you haven't and hit the like button. Why? 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 Because it, it helps, helps the, the algorithm. algorithm. And that's Nothing we like to do more than help the algorithm. Nothing we like to do than help the algorithm. <clears throat> Nothing we like to do but help the algorithm. Uh. If you don't help the algorithm, you should go away. Uh... <laughs> Today, we're doing a movie review. Ooh, what am I doing today? Ooh, what are you wow. doing? Wow. <laughs> this is going to be a fun movie review. <laughs> you want juicy content, you know where to put it. And welcome back to Classic Month. It's Classic Month. It is our, I don't know, number uh, four, five? A f our film for the year? Uh, or no, classic, classic for the year? For the year. It's, I think it's our fifth. fifth. This was our fifth because we've also seen, we've done six total. And Cutty was a so, new release. Oh, okay, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, six? Six. Seven. I don't know. I think it's, it might be seven. Hold on one second. Hold your, hold, hold your cotton picking. Six. Okay. Uh, <laughs> doing a movie review of the classic film. There we go. It was because I was holding the coffee cup, so I, I kind of got the two in one. I had this, and I had this, so it turned into uh, this. Uh, the 1973 classic, Abhimaman. <laughs> Corbin Abhimaman. I be mum mum Yeah. Say it in Big B's voice. I be mum mum mum. mum. <laughs> how, do you, how do you say that? Abhiman. Abhiman? That probably sounds it's my, better. my beautiful, lovely Indian wife were here, she would say it properly, but uh, she's, she is not. Directed and story by uh rishi kesh mukherjee he's a very famous mm -hmm. director in india uh, i wonder if he's bengali probably yeah uh also composed by sd berman yeah and starring uh amitak bakchan <laughs> and jaya bakchan mm -hmm. just sexier yeah higher and sexier and i believe at this moment she was a bigger star than Big B was. Really? At, at this point in, in their in career pathways. Yeah, in career paths. Interesting. Uh, and uh, obvi Interesting. Obviously, during the filming of this, they got married. Oh. Uh, and I think the, the one scene, they did the end scene right after their honeymoon. Really? Yeah, I wow. don't believe so. If, if the trivia that I, I read did not is know that correct, that is what happened. But obviously, I wanted to get to some obviously Big B classics and Jaya specifically. And we, right off the top, in case you didn't notice, there nam you go. Namaste, bitches. Namaste, bitches. Um, but obviously, this is going to be a 100 cent spoiler review. Mm -hmm. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Uh, we got to rent it on YouTube, um, all different places that we have to find Indian films. But this is a classic that I think a lot of people have seen before uh, uh, Andrani yeah. had seen it before obviously yeah it's yeah one it's, it's it's one of those films that even if you haven't seen it you 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 know the film it'd be like people in America if you said um gone with the wind or yeah if you said gone with the wind they said yeah I've, of course or or, or at uh, least if they're older yeah or they're old, but even then even still or if you you know the, the Casablanca they say yeah I've, I've never seen it but I know about that film. yeah yeah absolutely but yeah. anyway so it'd be hundreds of if you haven't watched it go watch it come back and then you'll be spoiled like the naughty little sphinx that you are. Ooh, naughty sphinx. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Uh, it had to happen at some point. We would eventually get to a classic that I didn't like. Uh -huh. uh, this is a classic that I didn't like. I have technical reasons for disliking it. Mm -hmm. It isn't the obvious reasons, though I dislike it for the obvious reasons. We'll get into that in a little bit. But there were aspects. There, there is a thing that I liked about it. The thing that I liked about it, and it was a very high level liking that almost made me like the film. Mm. Almost made me like the film. Mm. Was Jaya Bakchan? Yeah, yeah. yeah she, she's, she's she she is right? the the thing for me that held this together and made me keep uh, wanting to watch. But but other than that, for the most part, this was the first time we had a classic. I didn't dislike it. I just didn't like it. I was in that mm. kind of just flat point yeah. mostly because of some things that have to do with technical aspects that for me uh, I didn't 
didn't float my boat. I uh, gotcha. Um, I I don't I don't really want to say I totally enjoyed it just because of the story, and that's probably one of the the things that disconnected me most. I I enjoyed a lot of the film part of it in terms of like this is a very different story of like somebody who you can't really root for in in an Amitai Bakchan style character. Yeah, no, this movie could have been called Men. Thy name is asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and it, it seems like this year, actually, more than others, that we've seen classics that are very of their time, of their culture. Oh, yeah. Uh, especially of this classic month yeah. of, like, men doing certain things or that that's, yeah. was acceptable at that yeah. time or acceptable in the Indian culture at the so, time. So that that bodes, if I may, this this reminds me of... I think I saved it. If I didn't save it, I know it's in the message here that I sent to Rich because there's a photograph of something from this same era back in the 1970s that was a game that was played called Battleship. I found it. You remember the game Battleship? Yeah. Okay. So this is an ad. I'm going to put it up on the screen. So here's the here's the ad. It says Battleship, fun for the whole family. Okay. Right? It says Battleship, fun for the whole family. However, when you zoom in, what you see is it's the dad and the son playing the game. This is what's in the background. Oh, yeah. The women are in the kitchen. <laughs> Fun for the whole family when the boys get to play their games and the girls are where they should be. Barefoot, <laughs> pregnant, and in the kitchen. Right? Am I right? So it's yeah. similar era, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, similar era. And yeah. I've, I've obviously gone into some of the other films that we've seen this classic month of of a similar kind of things, different but similar in terms of what's acceptable sure. at that time. Sure. Um, what's um, different, acceptable in the Indian culture at which, that time. Which makes you take it with that grain of salt. Um, but I, I probably enjoyed this film more than you did uh, just because I, I enjoyed quite a few things about it in terms of Jaya's performance. Um, not that Big B did anything bad in this performance. It's just that his character was one that you wanted no, to root for at all, right? It wasn't that he was bad. There was just, there wasn't anything that stood out um, for me. Uh, she was f fantastic. We'll, we'll talk about her. I loved the songs. Um, I thought the uh, the the pacing of the film probably could have been not in terms of like it, it dragged in terms of like it just went from one thing to one thing to one thing really yeah. fast, right? It, there and was a there. My primary, the primary thing I disliked about the film was what you just described in most aspects of the film. There was a stodgy, cut out, very formal, non-logical other than this is what we need to do for the shot sense of both the pacing, the blocking of the actors, the physicality of the actors. I didn't, she was really the only one that I felt was incarnating and in being where many other times there were things I knew that were done just purely for indication rather than full embodiment of what's going on yeah. so the and the pacing basically it all fell in line that way i felt like the dialogue the 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 blocking was hugely problematic for me in terms of it not being justified other than i'm walking here because this is where i've been directed to walk mm -hmm. we've taken this shot because this is the shot we want i want to make sure that the picture's here and i will turn to let everyone know i'm thinking about Granted, that, that is how they did it back in the day but this was big yeah i, I did notice that a yeah, lot quite a yeah. few times it's like obvious of you were told to hit your mark here. It was massive. Kind of, it was kind of pretty much throughout um, in every shot. But I want to talk about the the thing, obviously, I think probably most people think is the best part about this film, even if you absolutely adore this film, uh, is Jaya. Yep. Uh, absolutely great performance by her. As usual, though, she, even in stuff like, stuff that's crazy over the top. Yeah, we've talked K about this before. K3G, right? Yeah. Everybody, including Amitabh Bakshan, is through the roof, right. right? And obviously, that's the style of film that they were yeah. going for in that film. Yeah, uh, she's. She... But she's always here. She's yeah, the... like, I will not go up here. I will always be here, yeah. <laughs> on the ground. Do what you want to do, yeah. but I'm going to stay grounded, guys. <laughs> and it just shows that she's just a phenomenal actor. Yeah, and especially in that end part. Uh, uh, I think those were real tears coming. A hundred percent. If it's not, it would have shocked me. I saw all the emotion on her face there at the yeah. end. As did uh, our supporting actress, barely supporting role, the other woman. I thought she did a good job mm -hmm. as well. She yeah. she 
uh, encapsulated for me as best as was possible, I think, a a, a genuineness of feeling yeah. and uh, just a, a level of acting that, that conveyed truth. I didn't understand that character's role very much, though. That's part of the another yeah. problem with the screenwriting. Uh, was, I, I was, didn't it understand. It wasn't fleshed out well. Were they having an affair? Was he just like an old fling that he wants to, you know, that he has an emotional connection to? I didn't understand like her point in this whole story, right? Um, and maybe maybe there's a bunch of stuff in like the Hindi version that that <laughs> it's much more connecting via wise, which is always entirely possible. Sometimes yeah, of course, just garbage, right? Yeah, but Jaya was definitely the the performance you felt for her because everything that was happening to her was completely unfair and not her fault. And yeah. obviously that's the point, obviously, of the story of, like, just toxic, very toxic masculinity and fragile egos, and right? Yeah. <laughs> like... My favorite line in the film. History has taught us that a man is better than a woman. <laughs> Good grief. But granted, that's one of the things that I... I... Obviously, it's one of the reasons I couldn't fully connect with the the film is because of like I I I don't know if I could watch this one again outside of the, the beautiful songs is because I'm like he's just an asshole. Every but guy al- is, but, but also, especially him. I think that was the point. It as was, well. and so that's when I'm I'm fine with the film. It was like even if you're not trying to make everybody fully like connect and all that, you're telling a story of toxic masculinity in, in Indian culture specifically at the time, uh, even though. Even though I still had a problem with, obviously, in the the Superstar Rajnikanth film of the redemption arc that this that character gets, the redemption arc that it just happens. I but, think in, in a lot of Indian films, yeah, of like people but, that don't deserve it, yeah, get that redemption arc because that's what the audience wants. But here's here's where for me this reden- redemption arc doesn't work. I felt every man in this needed a bullet in their head. Um, I, I, here's the reason his redemption arc doesn't work for me. Hmm. He was not a fully fleshed out complex human being. He was just a dick. And when he came to a realization of what he had done, we didn't see any struggle prior, during, or after in terms of justifying this tremendous revelation of what happened with him to justify anything redemptive. It, at all. Uh, so the fact that he did not have complexity to his character, he was a pretty straightforward negative character, hmm. which was, I felt, he's already judged by the screenwriter. This is our bad guy. He's going to do bad things, and all the other people are going to be bad, versus maybe having one person like that, and the comparisons that are made to this, and they're they're good comparisons because it's a similar story. It's not exactly the same, but it's, it's, it's a good comparison to compare it to A Star is Born. Every version of it. I haven't seen Judy Garland's version, but the Streisand, Chris Christopherson version, and the more recent Bradley Cooper, Gaga. In that story, Mm. the man who's the star and discovers her, it's tragic because you understand that his primary issue is with himself, and you can understand why she loves this broken man. And you're rooting for him to heal. You're rooting for them to win. And in the end, you're heartbroken because if he hadn't been so flawed, maybe there had been hope. I, I, I just felt like the, this guy wasn't flawed. He was just an asshole. And help me understand what is the point except continuing to push through this men are dicks message. The socks? That moment happened and I said out loud, what the fuck? She's still grieving the loss of her child and you're waving the baby socks in front of her saying, what are we going to do with these? I did not get what that was supposed to do in the story. Um, uh, that's one of the reasons I, I, I said this is one of the, another one that I feel is lost in the time on us as well of what the – obviously – Back even back in uh, America, back in the day, right, sixties, whatever the time was, that men were, those are men will be men, boys will oh, be yeah, boys, all that, Wayne. All, all that kind of shit, and yeah. like they would do the minimal thing, and sure. they'd be like, oh, they're better now, right? 
I felt that that's one of the things that, that happened to this. For sure. Because I've seen some Indians talk about this film. They're like, oh, it's so beautiful. And maybe they're just talking about Jaya's character and, or the heartbreaking of her. But obviously seeing this, not obviously when it came out and only in 2023, it, just like some other films that we've seen, this classic one that's very yeah. striking, the, the stuff that they let certain people get away with. And I know you said like... He didn't. Uh, you didn't see any like remorse or redeeming of his character. Obviously, that's yeah, the same complexity. thing. I, that's the same thing I felt with Rajnikanth's character, <laughs> though. Well, I felt that, that his character. I had felt complexity. it was even less with his though. Yeah, I felt because his his character had he complexity. Bashed somebody's head in. Yeah, and then was like, ha! I was right. She loves me more. But he had complexity. <laughs> there were points where he demonstrated that he wasn't. I don't all think Bakshan didn't have complexity. I, d I don't agree with that aspect. I really? Do, uh, yeah, no. You didn't feel he was pretty I thought, one note. I thought Rajagant was more one note than Amitabh Bakshan. When did he demonstrate that he was a kind man? Uh, I don't think he. I don't think he ever demonstrated <laughs> that he was a bad. I think he demonstrated. No. When that, did he demonstrate he was kind? I mean, at the end. I mean. I'm not saying it was, I, like I said, I don't, I didn't like his redemption arc, but I did see some of like the, the, um, I think he was genuinely sorry. I don't think he deserved the recognition for being sorry at the end, because obviously I think he was an absolute ass throughout the entire thing of just being very toxic. And, but once again, that, that, I think that was the point of the film of him. It's just, I wish... <laughs> He didn't get that redemption arc in the end. Like if if he was just an, a, a dick who didn't want to be there for his wife when she was giving birth and then lost a child and then and she's still doing this grieving and they make her go up on stage. <laughs> no, like, just <laughs> awful. And, and when it ended and they're walking away and she's crying, my thought was, good God, she's never getting out of that hell. Yeah. <laughs> she's just going to live with him. And be treated this way for the rest of her life. And maybe that's the point of that the film. That may be. Which but is why I think that it's, I didn't hate the film, is because I think oh, that, I, I, I think that's the point of this film, is that it's the the toxic masculinity of I Indian culture, at the time, I don't know if this is what he was saying, of just the, the, that vicious cycle, even if they n saw what they did, are they actually going to change in the end? Mm -hmm. is this, and this is more of a tragedy Shakespeare kind of thing mm -hmm. for Jaya Bakchan in terms of it is a tragedy. It, it, it is, is a tragedy, but it, it, Shakespeare and complexity go hand in hand, so this is nothing nothing remotely close to being a Shakespearean I'm tragedy. It's a Shakespearean tragedy story for her of just it's, it's just a sad story for her. I don't I think it's more than that. Yeah. Because no, um, well, you get tragedy when you're dealing with complexity. And that there was We get it, you don't think it was complex. The hope <laughs> Of I think it was a little more redemption. complex than you think it was. I don't think it's the most complex story I've ever seen, obviously. Huh. But I I think I don't think it was not not complex. I, I feel very similar to the Rajdakanth film in terms of that whole storyline of the man and how they're dicks. Right. To but this you, story. you made the comparison that you think that Amitabh Bakshan's character was more complex than his character and I think you're smoking crack because I think Rajnikanth's character beat the shit and almost killed his wife and absolutely he did not beat his wife and, <laughs> and almost kill her well there are things that are far worse than, than, murder? than murder? no 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 there are things that are far worse uh, physical abuse is obviously a bad thing but there are things that are way more abusive that are done to people emotionally than are done physically. It's true, but and also again, almost murdering your wife is is pretty high up there well, on the non-forgivable. Almost murdering is what he did. He murdered his wife. He <laughs> absolutely destroyed everything she was as a person. Oh, I, she is a walking corpse at the end of this movie. Oh, I'm a, I'm I'm well aware. So, but, but he I, does I, so. I, with I don't a, see the that big of a difference between those two characters. But he shows no. This character shows no kindness. Throughout that like, part, uh, yeah. Selfless kindness. There are times when they're happy and they're having a good time, but it's always because he's getting something out of it. He never does anything sacrificial for her in any way or any one. Yeah, oh, I'm not saying he didn't. Whereas Rajnikanth does. No. <laughs> this is not a comparison of the two. So Yeah, it we, is. No, I'm saying that's not what people want to hear right here is a comparison of those two. I just brought it up for a, a point. <laughs> Not not for us to talk about it for 20 minutes. That's okay. what I'm saying. Um, but the, 
another thing that I did really enjoy about this film was the music of this film. I did. I like thought the music. The, the music was I absolutely the theme. gorgeous. Uh, and was she played by Lada, or was it? Yes, it was Lada. Uh huh. Well, I could see why she was more popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even if you're also sung by a legend, I mean, if you're singing next to, if your wife is the voice of Lada McCurgy and you're whoever, your wife's probably going to be a little more popular than you are. Um, but the I, I did really enjoy that uh, aspect of the film, even though like this was not a film that was like um, had big numbers right just had a lot of small intimate numbers and i did appreciate that we actually had subs yeah for the songs for the songs uh that that is nice and i did appreciate the fact that for the time it's my understanding that in indian cinematic history Mm. and even still today i mean it's not common to have somebody who's going to play the lead character as the male of someone like anamata bakchan be playing a negative character Mm. You know that that's that's yeah, not that, lo- that is definitely not lost on me mm-hmm. for for the actor of that day because there are still actors today who will not play a character that's considered the negative role. Which I I hope that terminology changes because it's it, by, by saying the character is negative already gives a prejudgment on the character yeah. before you're even playing it uh, versus think, being the antagonist. And I think it's because probably at this point in his career he I don't this was before Cholet. Right. And so before he became right bigger than everybody, right? Right. Uh and so just like Shah Khan, with, Shah just, Khan started, just like with Rajnikov, Rajnikov he had, started as yeah. a villain more. Yep. Um and I, so I think that happens quite often, but just not as much after they become a star. Right. Uh it, it cuz their fans want them as the hero right, right, right. of of the thing, but yeah, uh I I, I do agree with that. I thought um I think is I it Bindu Desai? Yes. Yeah, I do. It's 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 Bindu who played Chitra. Yeah. Yeah, she was the other one that I felt. I thought it was Helen for a second. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I thought it was Helen. Um, and uh, what do you think about uh, his friend though? Because you said every every guy was a dick in this. Do you even think his friend was a dick? Because he, he was the nicer to. He was the more complex character than obviously Amitak Bakhtan was. Absolutely, he was by far the more complex character in that though he demonstrated some attributes occasionally that were negative especially the sock scene um <laughs> that that he he demonstrated he kindness he demonstrated frustration he demonstrated but he too suffered from either i'm i'm guessing it was directing choices where so much of his blocking whether he was moving or he was seated or what he was needing to do for camera was being played to camera yeah there was so like much of that, that was, was sitting down and he was yeah, walking it, over his shoulder so much of the staging was so stodgy and cardboard and did not feel like it evinced life it, yeah. it felt very staged yeah yeah uh yeah i think there was a scene where jaya and the uh, bindu is that her name yeah and he wa- she walked she was they were talking and she walked behind her and talked to the yeah edge over here yeah oh there's a moment where he's he gets really mad at at big b and he goes to leave and the phone rings and he walks back to the phone and he stops and then he goes and he leaves. Mm. Every moment of that, I knew what was going to happen. I, I felt like that, he walked to the phone because he yeah. was supposed to walk to the phone and he stopped because he was supposed to stop versus it being in the moment and him making decisions based on, That's, you know what, I'm not going to answer the phone. It just felt very staged. And you felt it was more than the normal knee of the time because that's obviously oh, yeah. very of the time. It is of the time. It just was so high throughout mm. every moment that it was the standout for me that mm. disconnected me. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you liked the ending, the the her scene, like the ending scene of her. I didn't. Uh, her I acting. didn't personally like what happened to the character, yeah. but um, she's grieving. And- yeah, I, I appreciated. What I did appreciate was it's it's not a happy ending. Mm. Um, it too, it did end with what was very clearly the staged background people you know coming to want autographs but then being pushed aside and then not asking for the autographs because they were told to stand there it, there was just so much stuff that i saw people doing because they were told to do it versus doing it because there was justification for it mm. uh but yeah I, my, if there's a my favorite takeaways are her performance mm-hmm. and the fact that it, it it accentuates toxic masculinity and i don't know how much it does so with an intentionality versus as a, a byproduct mm. And then the ultimate ending, as tragic as it is, I'm, I'm really happy it didn't end with her smiling and waving at everybody. That would have been so 
disappointing. Yeah. It ended with her as a pretty much a walk. And you enjoyed corpse. the songs, though. I really yeah, enjoyed yeah, the songs, and I enjoyed the, the songs, themes. Yeah. But that's where it put me, where I didn't, I didn't dislike it so much that it's, it's. I'm like, mm-hmm. I would never want to watch this again. I would watch her for sure. Yeah. But it, it's the first one that I can't say that I, I really liked. Yeah. Um, well, let us know what you thought about this film and why we are idiots. Yep. Uh, in the comments below, what should be our next Amitabh Bakchan and Jaya yeah. Bakchan uh, films, whether together or or separate as well. Uh, I do know, obviously, there's Silsala or something like yes. that. Yes. is obviously high up there. Silsala, I think that's, that's the with title. Those two and Rekha. And is that, because is that, I know she worked on several films with uh, Rishikesh Mukherjee. So I don't know if... The director? Yeah, I, I believe that director, there were several films that they worked on together, is my my understanding. Well, he was, he was probably one of the biggest directors of the day. Yeah. Back in the day. Uh, I don't know why it's not coming up. My internet is going slow. Anyways, anyway, you guys can let. Oops, sorry. Yep. No content available here. Oh, okay. Anyways, let us know what you thought about the film. What should be our next classic that we should watch? Down below. <laughs>